What is up guys, Snack on here back again today and it's day four of Vlogmas and we're on the fourth day of winter break. So today we're gonna show you guys basically what I spend some of my money, what I sell candy from, like right here, onto my collection, and we're gonna show you how much my collection is worth and what's in it. So you guys have been curious asking me what I always own and what I like to do on the part-time other than selling snacks. And basically you guys can see here, here's all my shoes. We have a total of two, four, six, eight. 10, 12. We have a total of 12 shoes here, and I've had more in the past, but I've sold them all. And uh, basically, I'm gonna go over each one and which one I like the most, and tell you a little bit about like my decision of why I bought it. So, the first shoe that actually got me into collecting was my first ever pair of Ultra Boosts. Um, these ones I've heard about, and everyone at my school were wearing it because you know I live in a pretty you know median class uh, neighborhood, and people around me are pretty like you know medium to high class people, and. Uh, they ha always have the Ultra Boost and they tell me that it was comfortable. And back then, I wasn't wearing Ultra Boost. I was wearing like Asics and Skechers. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. And then after I got my first pair with a little bit of my snack selling money during freshman year, I started collecting. And then I moved on to NMDs, which is basically, uh, it was kind of popular like a couple years ago, but now the like died down. And it was just a comfortable shoe also that I used to beat around because the Boost material Adidas makes is uh, obviously comfortable if you guys had one before. But I'm not gonna try to go too much detail about these ones. And then I believe my third one would have been the Yeezy Zebras and that was when I got my first Yeezy which is like to some people it's like their like most favorite shoe because like the looks of it is like pretty interesting and unique compared to other things like the way it's just shaped in the bottom you can see it's like more rounded and curved and then it also has like you know unusual patterns that not many shoes have and again same boost material now we're gonna go over to the other shoe that I picked up which was my first Jordan 1 and these were Aim Royal Jordan ones that are um, my size. By the way, is about 10 to 11, and for Jordans, I wear a 10. So I got a good price for these when I bought them a couple years ago, and uh, they were brand new. And I've only worn them once for a picture, but I am gonna hold these because the value are gonna continue going up, like most Jordan ones do. And I decided to get this one because blue is one of my favorite colors, and I decided that this could go with other outfits, and there's potential that this could go up in money. And then I believe after I did that during the summer of freshman year, I was able to buy uh, one of these at the Gucci outlet for a really good deal because these went for about like 550 for retail and then at the outlet I found them for 350 which was definitely a really good steal. And knowing Gucci, since it's like a designer brand, it's a good material leather that was comfortable and that would last you longer than like a regular uh, knit shoe. So I decided to get something more formal in case I ever needed something like that. And uh, here's where I kind of got crazy. I realized I didn't even need this many pair of shoes and uh, my love for it made me just keep buying and buying, but I'm trying to thin out my collection later on and uh, only keep the ones I really like and really wear. Then I got this pair of NMDs Human Race here. It's a collaboration between Pharrell and uh, Adidas. And he made these interesting style shoes where you can mostly find words or like Chinese characters on the top of them, if you can see that on the camera. And uh, they do a pretty interesting design how they have like the human anatomy in the bottom here. Like I'll try to show you. Uh, inside you can see that there's like the stomach, the liver, I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, there's like wording inside that shows like different body parts. And then there's also colorful stuff. And the way I have it laced is that I involved both of the laces that it came with and I just tied it in the back to give it an interesting look. What was my next shoe? Um, I believe it was the Gucci slides. There's really not much to talk about here. I wanted a pair of slides that were like hype beast-ish and uh, I decided to get them just because they were like, you know, pretty talked about and uh, people knew what it was as soon as you saw it. Then my next pickup, which is kind of like shared between me and my dad because we both like this shoe. So we decided to like pay half and half for it and we have the same size. So whenever he wants to wear it, I'll let him wear it. Whenever I wear it, it's basically I just wear it. But we don't have it that often. As you can see, the bottom is still pretty clean and uh, probably only worn like two or three times. And uh, this is one of the ones I don't wear that much, but it's still in my collection. And moving on, I believe there's not that many to talk about left. We did get these Gucci Aces, and this was actually an interesting one because I bought this while I was in Hawaii for the first time. So as like, uh, we went to one of the malls, and I really liked it, and then the taxes were less in Hawaii. So I decided to get this pickup to remind me of Hawaii when I was there. And that's why this one has a little bit of a story. Um, the next thing I had was this pair of off-white um, Prestos, the black ones. And if you guys know off-white, you know, the prices are over ridiculous as heck. So I had to get a good deal on these or else your boy wouldn't have bought it. And uh, they were only going for like 520 so I had to get them. And basically, if you, these are brand new, they go for like eight to 900 which is something that I don't want to pay for a pair of shoes. And I believe the last one we have here is... Uh, actually, we have one more, but we have the Bloodlines that I picked up. These are still pretty um, 9 out of 10 condition or considered almost DS. 
I traded my Beluga V2s for these and a couple other things, but these are nice shoes because I think they're really underrated. The way they have the black and red coloring, it's like not the bread, but like, you know, if they're the same colorway and like it's a clean shoe that can match with a lot of outfits, especially since my closet is a lot of black and white. I decided that this was essential. And last but not least, for our last shoe, we're gonna cover the Reflective 1.0 Ultra Boost that are going for a lot of money if they're brand new, but I got a pair of beater ones from a local plug, shout out, Band SF, that um, we're selling these, cause brand new, they go for $600, but I didn't pay that much, I only paid $140 for these, or no, I paid $120 for these. And uh, the reason why is because they are really beat, but I tried to clean them up the best I can, and they still look nice as a personal shoe. And again, Ultra Boots are comfy, so I have two pairs of those. Alright, now that you've seen my 12 pairs of shoes, let's move on to my clothing collection, and I'll show you guys my accessories. Alright, so uh, first off, in my accessories, we have a Hershey bar, we sell for $1. Nah, no, but I'm just playing, guys. Let's get onto the actual collection. So if you guys look here, I'm but basically pick up each item, give a little bit of a brief overview. Uh, nothing to talk about here, but, you know, self-explanatory. This is the AirPod case from Antisocial. Retail caught from the website a while ago. Um... Two off-white keychains that were custom made by Hype SF using the real off-white belt materials. Pretty unique and uh, you know, great accessory if you're like having keys or something like that. Uh, Gucci wallet that we picked up from Hawaii along with the shoes you saw earlier. And uh, with that, we also got the Gucci belt. Which basically, we did a small little shopping spree at Gucci. And uh, sounds like I'm spoiled, but most of this stuff is with my own money that I made selling candy. Most of the stuff here is not from parents or like people buying from me. I believe only two items out of my whole collection, like clothing and shoes, or like every gifts and most of the stuff is all bought for myself then moving on just a little supreme paratrooper you guys can see that you get it free with every order i believe but there's no more because it's the end of the season now and uh go over my supreme stickers real quick i don't have many there's two of the san francisco box logo stickers which is the stickers you got from buying the box logo at the opening of sf store one of the scratch off stickers where the logo is revealed after you scratch it off like a scratcher ticket and then just a bunch of the regular basic ones uh, next thing we have is pretty useless. It's a Supreme toothbrush. I really don't know what anyone would do with this, but I'm not going to open it just because, uh, value is there if you're not open and not used. Obviously, no one wants to buy a used toothbrush. So, you kind of unique. I got it out of a mystery box. Oh, put that back. Supreme bouncy ball. Not worth that much. $20. You know, you can bounce it. Kept it in a bag so it doesn't get dusty because this thing, like the material, if you guys ever played with one of these as a kid, it gets sticky and, like, if you roll it into dust, it'll definitely be hard to get off. Supreme water bottle I had for a long time. I've used it throughout my freshman year, but after I got dented twice, you can see there's this big dent here. I basically stopped using it and I just kept it here as a display piece instead. Now moving on to the last few items here. We have Supreme shower cap that also came with it last season or two seasons ago. Pretty useless again, like you're not gonna use this to shower, honestly, I'm just keeping it for display. Keeping going on, we have a Supreme burner phone. So if you're ever trying to do some drug deals or call a prostitute, you guys have a burner phone, they can't track your number. You know, do, do your drug dealing and snack selling at the same time. And I think this is by far the most useless accessory. But like, you know, the Supreme towel from uh, the book in volume 5 limited edition. It's like a $200 towel. I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. Because I think the value will continue to rise since this is like a vintage piece. But it's a little accessory. And for my last couple pieces, we have this Supreme Lantern. I saw you, I'm sure you guys have saw it already. But if you guys follow my Instagram at SnackGod, you guys should go follow that. I upload my candy selling uh, menu and some of my sneak peeks sometimes on there. And this pa this lantern was used in one of my photos, so you guys can check that out. U unique little piece right here. Try to hang that back up. Alright, and for my last piece that I use pencils to hang, I have my Supreme backpack, which was actually my first Supreme piece ever before I got my hoodie, which we'll go into that later after I show this thing off. Uh, I have a neat little um, off-white uh, zip tie that I hanged on here from my off-white tee, but yeah, this was my first ever piece and it kind of looked cool because you know red I like to wear something flashy and like not I mean, many people you'll see walking down the street with this So it made me stand out of the crowd, especially if you're selling snacks. Yeah, let people know it's you, right? So all right, that's all for my accessories. Let's move on to the clothing All right, so now we're here on the clothing Which is the last part of this video to conclude and we're gonna begin with the t-shirts as you guys can see we have piles separated determining like the category t-shirt hoodie sweatshirts blah etc etc and uh, first thing i want to go over is this babe t-shirt that i basically traded at sneaker con for one of my old ultra boosts that were really beat 100 dollars pretty much value and this is the big 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 hate pet tee and the retail of babe tees are like extremely high so i never really buy them and like i only do it if it's like a good deal or if i trade for it and uh next item we have cause tee 
Uh, here, we'll show off the tees. So cost tee by Uniqlo, you know, nothing special about it, just like $15 and like $30 resale. I have a couple of those. Let's move on to the next cause tee, yeah, right here. Nothing special, you know, interesting design. So I only have like two of them, because I found like their design interesting by the creator. And next thing I have right here is a palace tee, which is, here's my first piece of palace ever. I thought it was pretty cool because like, similar to Supreme Palace is a skating brand. And like, I don't skate, but I do like the design of their logo where it has the three uh, triangles or like three sides to make up a triangle at a palace and then the back design is like a bigger one of those which I thought it was like pretty unique design then one of my first pieces of shirts ever was this Supreme North Face reflective logo that was like a long time ago I don't even remember what season this dropped but this was my first t-shirt and I had it since freshman year so it's been like two years ago and in the back where your shoulder is is a small logo where it's basically the same thing as the front and like basically with North Face and Supreme the material of it is also like really soft and comfortable and for the last piece or second to last piece we have an off-white tee again in the front you can't really tell what it is until you look at the bottom you have these words that say white on it and this tee retails for like $200 which is basically what I paid for and in the back has this white design where it basically makes you look like a crosswalk and there's a white in orange lettering so it's like kind of contradicting or like irony that it says white but it's actually not white at all and last piece I have is this antisocial long sleeve which is a long sleeve tee because it's like the same material as the t-shirt and basically it's just antisocial and on the sleeves it says get weird so this is the get weird one here you can see there's weird embroidered on there and there's get on the other side and then on the up oh, on the back is the big logo that every antisocial piece has now we move on to the last tee actually I was joking about that we have the supreme cdg box logo tee I got this in a $500 mystery box from Heat SF and uh, it's a pretty good condition. I have never worn it yet, but it is worn before, but you can basically not really even tell unless you like look really closely to like the neck collar. And this tee goes for about $300 brand new, so gotta keep it in the best condition possible. Next piece we're gonna talk about. This one, I don't really need to unfold it. You can see it's just a basic vape hoodie. You've seen me wear it in my videos. Uh, basic black hoodie, I like it cause the colors are easy to match and vape is like unique because like, you know, how many people you see wear hoods that have like a shark on it? And then for my other one, this is like a really flashy piece where like you're definitely gonna stand out. It's like all camo and it's bright, kind of like orange, yellow, tan, desert tan kind of stuff. And like it's all camo around. And this is a zip up so you can even zip up your face and uh, you know, Halloween costume if you want it to be. Next piece, I'm sure you've seen me wear this before in my videos too. Supreme Life hoodie and you guys seen it in the back where the design is pretty interesting. It looks just like this. And uh, it's like kind of abstract and unique. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear something like this just because the thing I try to hope for when I wear and buy these pieces is that like I don't want something basic. Like you see people walk around school with Air Forces or like um, Vans or like the Fila shoes and like Thrasher, Stussy, Champion brand. But like you don't see people wearing like this type of stuff. So my goal was like basically try to not be where everyone else is doing and like fit in your own category. And uh, here we go. We have the off-white V-Long crew neck. This thing was the trade from one of my box logos. I actually traded this thing and the off-white crew neck for a box logo I had that was lime on black and uh, I ended up getting both of these so you can see a little off-wording here and in the back there's a V for V-Loan which is a designer brand that they collabed with off-white. And let's see, we got two things left so we're gonna conclude this video up pretty soon. I don't want to make this video too long because it's boring to watch through all this but I wanted to show you guys because some people were curious and here's my first ever Supreme piece. Like how I said, if you look over here, my backpack I said was my first like ever piece of accessory. This was my first piece of like a hoodie. So I got this one actually before the North Face tee, which means that like this was my first ever hoodie piece. And I actually bought this during school, which is if you guys don't know what I mean, someone at school had it and I bought it off him. And basically, because I didn't have a card at that time. And uh, when I first started collecting like streetwear and stuff like that, it was hard for me to get it, especially if I didn't have a card. So, you know, just a like, nice little zip up hoodie that I'm gonna keep like this because it's a pain in the ass to unfold everything. And last but not least, the video, the one that everyone's seen, the one that my friend has guessed, he thought it was like $200 and it was like 1.7K when it's brand new. The Supreme Navy box logo, pretty much my most expensive piece in the collection. It's a simple word on a box and it's a logo and uh, it makes it worth a lot, which I don't really know how it's justified, but I do know that it's limited because Everything is again only released once when it's supreme and the value only continues to rise up. So with that said, this concludes my review of my $10,000 collection. You guys can see the floor. We have sneakers everywhere, clothes all on the bed. And um, this is what I have as one of my main hobbies that I collect. 
and I even have a whole shrine dedicated to Supreme. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Stay tuned for tomorrow of Vlogmas and leave a comment down below what you guys like to collect and what your style of dressing up is.